Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to talk about the differences between renting a condo building and an apartment building. So what's a condo, what's an apartment? A condo, it's a building where each unit is owned by a different owner. An apartment is a building where one person or one entity owns the whole building. So that's the main difference, you know, there is exceptions, they all they come in different shapes and sizes, but that's the main. So, what are the pros and cons of both? So in a condo, you're dealing directly with the owner, which could be good, you develop a relationship, uh, it's more personal, communication is more direct. In an apartment, you're dealing with a corporation, uh, it's not as personal. You have a leasing team sometimes, or you're dealing with a manager, man, on-site manager. In a condo, the owners might not raise your rent as often. Condo owners are happy having a good tenant, and sometimes they will not raise as often as an apartment building. An apartment building is an asset, so it's a business and they are trying to make more money every year. So most of the time, they're gonna raise your rent every year. Um, the other difference is, the condo owners are gonna be more picky about who they want in their unit, because they are, most of the time, they only have one unit, and if this person that is renting from them does not pay, they might not be able to pay their mortgage, or they might not have enough reserves. So that will be a problem. As an apartment building, let's say you have 300 units there. If one unit does not pay, it's not a big deal. Most of the time they have attorneys on file that can deal with them and they still get in rent for the 299 units. Um, so they are more flexible on who they take. Uh, they're not as picky about credit. They're not as picky about financing and they have low entry deposits, which most of the time you don't see in the condo buildings because the condo buildings want to be protected. So in a condo building, most of the time it's going to be a one month's rent deposit, sometimes two. And another thing, the pricing with the condos is more straightforward. The rent price, it's usually a flat fee. And as far as utilities go, a lot of the utilities are already paid in the HOA. So a lot of times you only have like electricity bill and internet, like gas, water, and trash will be included. Again, there's always exceptions to the rule, but generally that's how it works. As in an apartment building, they have all kinds of fees. They charge you pet rent, they will charge you for parking, they will charge you for sewer. There is a lot of extra charges. So the price you see a lot of times it's not the final price. It goes up a lot. Um, and then, you know, and the last, lastly, the, the, main, the other difference is how the building is maintained. A lot of times the condo buildings are nicer because not everybody that lives in the building is a renter. A lot of the people that live in the building are owners. So they care more about the facilities. They take better care of the building. They pay high HOAs, so they just take more care with the building because the building for them is an investment. And if the building doesn't look good, is uh, it loses value. And when they want to sell their unit, they want to sell for more, not less. So they make sure the building is running well. In an apartment building, people are renting for a year. Uh, they they are not as invested in the building. So they, they are more passing by. It's kind of like, almost like a hotel for them. So they don't really care about the building as much. They want to use it and have as much fun as possible and enjoy all the facilities, but they don't really care as much in the long term. So these are the main differences. We have leased apartments and condos often, uh, but these are some of the things you want to you know, consider. One last thing, sometimes in the condo buildings, that's, I see this happening a lot now, 
the owners will put a clause where they would not guarantee the appliances. So if your appliance breaks, it's gonna be on you to fix it. This is not very common, but I have seen more and more lately. So it's something when you sign your lease to look for. Um, but that's about it. I hope that's helpful. And if you need to find a condo to rent, go to loftway.com. Again, loftway.com and we'll be able to help you. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.